Ah man, so I guess it's that type of time, man. It's time to confuse myself and y'all. But no, man, I'm about to give y'all a dribble tutorial. In this video, it will not be all my moves. I'm going to teach the fan favorites, as we would say. I'm going to teach you guys how to do the 2K17 dribble spam. You know, the little crossover up the court and stuff. And I'm going to teach you guys how to do a momentum behind the back. And I'm going to teach you guys a little move that I don't even know what to call. It's like a half spin to a... Damn. It's like a, it's a half spin to a... Uh, what can you call that? It's like a half spin into a spin back? It's not really a spin back. I don't know. I'm going to show you guys what it is. And I'm going to teach you guys how to moonwalk because I finally learned how to moonwalk. Well, I finally kind of learned the, the steps to moonwalk. I can't hit it consistently, but I can hit it like six out of ten times. All right, first, we're going to start with the momentum behind the, to the explosive behind the back. You know what I'm saying? Let me show y'all this move real quick. Come on, ball machine. Give me the ball. I'm going to start with this move right here. This is the most easy. This is the easiest move. I can give y'all boom, boom. See that? If you want to learn how to momentum and all the basic stuff like the, uh, the curry slide, the crossover 18, and the momentum. All y'all do is go to my first triple tutorial, you know, if the video gets 2k likes and up, I swear on everything, I will make a tutorial with every move I know in this game. Every move, put it everything, and by the time this probably get 2k likes, I'll probably know like more stuff. But uh, yeah, like I said, let me start with this move right here, boom, boom, simple, easiest move in the game. No, I'm like, it's not the easiest move in the game, because I part, you know, I be... Part of be fucking up. I be doing stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I park, I park is something different. But boom, boom. Now I hate explaining this. Cause I really have to slow it down. That's why. That's why I love this. Uh, let me know. Do y'all prefer this kind of uh, hand cam or do y'all want like my real life one? How I used to do in 19. Let me know, man. If y'all want the real life one, you know I got y'all, man. It's whatever. It's y'all world, man. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna start with this move. First, you wanna start off with a momentum, right? And right after you momentum. Since the ball is in my left hand, all you want to moment, all you want to do is after you momentum, is like hold the right stick diagonal down left like that, right, and hold the left stick towards the left, so you go in that direction for the explosive. It's like a kind of flick. You don't really you don't really hold the right stick. You flick it, but you hold the left stick towards that direction. Or you won't like get the behind the back, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how you spam it too. You gotta make sure you go that direction first. Oh yeah, I talked about that in the first tutorial too. It's really simple. Easy move, easy move. But boom boom. You know what I'm saying? That's a move that I don't really I should not have to explain that much. If y'all uh, get it down, y'all get it down. You know what I'm saying? Like uh y'all could just keep replaying that part, like I said. I'm gonna say it one more time for y'all. And it's the it's opposite. I honestly do not like doing it this way because it's very confusing for me. Let me see how I do it. Yeah, I can, but I prefer not to. But it's the it's vice versa, the same thing. So momentum, the ball's in my left hand, right? Momentum to the right. And then you wanna to wanna to flick the right stick diagonal down left or like towards the left, but like kind of like this, like over here, this type of angle, and hold the left stick straight towards the left. So like that. Moving on. Now I'm gonna teach you guys a fan favorite, man. This is a kind of dribble move you kind of learn by yourself. I can teach you guys the basics, but I can't teach you the feel of the move, you know? So, boom. I'm gonna teach you guys the NBA 2K17 dribble spam, you know? Y'all been asked about this. I just be in the feel for it. Some games, like, I be hot, you know? But I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it. Let me see, can I even, I know I can do it in place, what the fuck? Ugh. I don't think you can walk back way in the park. Oh yeah, for the 17 spam, all you want to do is hold the left stick up, right? And then keep clicking the right stick up. That's literally all I do. And to combo out of it, I kind of just like, you know, hold the stick in one direction. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know, it feels different in my court compared to park. I can't really chain animations. Oh, you could chain them if you like hold L, you gotta like kind of tap or hold L2. I kind of put L2 into this uh, mood because at park it'll give you the park size up animations but boom boom oh my like i'm not a master yet either y'all so like i said 
but y'all been asking me how to do it, and that's literally it. Make sure y'all have my SIGs on too, if y'all don't know my SIGs. Uh, if y'all want my full SIGs, go watch my dribble mix shape number one, it's in that video. And, but I'm gonna give y'all the SIGs y'all need. What's uh, the, what do y'all need, is it? Nova. The one, the, the second before last, what is that, escape? Well, you just need profile, make sure you have profile on. It should be the second to last box on the dribble list. I don't know what they, I don't even know what they call it, but if you don't know what I mean, just go watch my dribble tutorial video, go like that up for me, and y'all can see my SIGs from there. Like I said, the 17 move is easy. Hold the left stick up so you can kind of walk forward and spam the right stick straight up. Like, you have to spam the right stick straight up. Or you won't get the good animations. It looks better at part because the delay. Like, I play on East, so I'm kind of delayed, and I feel like, I don't know, it just feels more smoother. For some reason, I feel like I dribble better in East. Uh, like, it's more delayed, and when I tap L2, I get animations. Like, I can hear it's just making me just pick up the ball, it look like, and I don't know, it's not working out. But that's how you do the MV2K17 spam. If y'all want, y'all can go to Blacktop and really practice this move. That's like where you can get best at it because uh, you can do all the uh, part size of animations in there. And it's kind of more of a game speed type vibe. And here it's different. Like boom, boom, boom. It's kind of glitchy though, you know? It, look, it looks clean. I know I, I look trash doing it here, but y'all know my clips, I was, I was clean with it. Moving on. All right, for the next move, I'm gonna teach you guys. I'm gonna teach y'all. Uh, I'm gonna teach you guys my move that I wanted to teach y'all earlier. That move right there, man. So I want to teach you guys. It's a clean move you do. Like say uh, to get an easy clip if they're already like sagging off or something. Like nobody's gonna expect you to do that move. I don't even know what to call this move. I call it. A, I don't know. Spin back into a. I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't even know what you call it. Like it looks clean to me. I'm, I'm, I have a clip with me finishing with that move, but I'm kind of waiting until I get like a mixtape. I'm kind of using it for that. So, boom, let me show you guys one more time. High spin, boom. And like that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I honestly don't know what to call that move, you know what I'm saying? But it looks clean. It's something clean to do. You know how to finish your clip. It helps you get your stamina back too. A lot of these moves don't you shouldn't even lose stamina for. If you're holding R2 when you dribble, you're you should not do that. But let me teach you guys this move before uh, you know, so I can make this video as short as possible. So you want to start off with the ball in your right hand. Now, if you're vice versa, you literally do what I'm telling you, but vice versa, you know, because I'm really like I'm a one-sided type of player. I don't really like doing stuff on the other side. But I need to learn how, but right now it's not gonna happen. So Balls in my right hand, right? Oh my god, balls in my right hand, right? What I do is rotate the right stick to get the half spin animation. That. If you don't know how to rotate the right stick, you know, you can see it up there. I kind of rotate it from like, what is this? Like 3 o'clock to 12? Boom, something like that. You want to get that animation. And then, once you see your player kind of going forward, you want to kind of hold the left stick diagonal down left or like towards. It's kind of weird. It's kind of different. It depends on what angle you're at, but like, if you're centered, it's kind of like this. This is what I kind of do, like over here. You want to hold it down that way after you see your player after he gets the half animation, and you should get this. You gotta, I think you gotta hold R2 too, like right now. Yeah, you have to hold R2. Once you do the half spin, standing half spin, you hold R2, and you want to hold the left stick diagonal down left and hold R2. That's what I do. Boom. And you want to get once you get that animation, you damn near did the move already, you know. So once you get that animation, when you see the ball going, the ball can actually go already go through your legs, like. No. All right, so you seen that animation, right? The, the ball could go through your legs, and you can still rotate the stick and finish the move. So if the ball goes through your legs, all you want to do is rotate the left, the right stick. You want to rotate the right stick clockwise from three to six, like that. Okay. So let me show you guys one more time. Boom, boom. Okay, give me the ugly spin. Boom. See how clean it looks? I don't even know what to call that move at all. Boom. Boom. You know, all of them look clean. It'll give you an open three most of the time. You know, because, I don't know. If I see somebody doing that, I'm, I'm not going to know what to do. But it looks clean, you know. At the same time, it's clean to finish a clip off to do that with. And it's a simple, it's a simple move, you know. So with that said, man, let's move on to the last move. All right, y'all, so for the moonwalk, I kind of had to migrate to another court because I needed something bigger, you know what I'm saying? But 
I'm gonna show you guys the basics for this move. No, I did not master it, but I know how to do it. Let me show you guys how to do it. If I get it right the first time, boom, 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 boom. That's the Mohawk animation. I'm just not good with the stick movement yet. I'm trying to figure out how to do what I want to do every time. Most of the time, I just get like the crossover. Like, let me show you guys. Most of the time, I get that crossover. But it's still pretty clean at the park, you know. Any type of move like this looks clean at the park. It's not gonna but any of these type of moonwalks look clean at the park. So I'm just teaching you guys the basics. Like I said, with this video to 2K, I actually post a full drip tutorial on everything. Take my time on everything. Oh my god, I keep picking up the book. Show you guys. Boom, 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 boom. Speed boost in one direction. Boom, boom, boom. Crossover. But at park, I could do more into it. I probably do like a lot of L2 moving at park. Here, I can't really do none of that. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Yeah, I really only get the crossover. I don't know why, but I don't know. It's like when I learn more. I don't know. I, I used to get the behind the back animation, like this, the behind the back, like fast behind the back animation a lot. Now it's only giving me a crossover. I don't know what it is, but let me see if I get the behind the back. Maybe it's because I'm flicking it diagonal up. Let me try flicking it diagonal down, right? All right. Speed boost one direction, boom, boom, hold up. Boom, boom. Okay, that's through the legs, kind of flicked in the middle. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yeah. I don't know, it's not giving me the hunt behind the back, y'all. Let me see how I get it though. Boom, boom. Yeah. That's the animation I want. I want that behind the back end. I kind of feel what I'm doing, but I don't know how to explain this at all. Like, I kind of feel how I'm getting the animate. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, this move is a lot to just, like, explain. I hope you guys look at the hand cam, because it's kind of hard to explain, like, what I'm doing right now. But I'm going to give you guys the basics on this tutorial you will be able to do one of these moves that's all i know you'll be able to do one of them and once you master at least the crossover part like the behind the back like the backwards crossover that means you know how to moonwalk you just got to learn the stick movement for the behind the back and uh yeah so boom all right so let me get into this tutorial man i just want to show you that i can do it i'm just not a master of it yet I, I cannot do it what i want on command now, I, I, the only thing I can do on command is the crossover, like the backwards crossover, like boom, 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 boom. That's the only thing I can do on command. For some reason, I cannot get the behind the back on command. The through the legs, the through the legs is clean too, because you could uh, you could do a lot of you could do a lot of all these moves, y'all. It's only been like a week in 2K, and look what we're doing already. You already know they tried to patch our moonwalk. They changed it up a lot. This one I feel like takes more. No, nah, I wouldn't say takes. It probably takes more skill. Cause you could do the moonwalk so easy last year out of anything, but now uh, they're gonna have to. I don't know. You have to, have to try a little more, but it's easier to do it off the crossover AT animation. So what you want to do, is, like if I'm just trying to stand still, I think I could. You could do it when you're standing still, but it's more. I'm gonna give you all the easiest way to do a moonwalk. Cause I don't know for some reason standing still, it doesn't give you. It doesn't give you like the animation every time. It will like you got to give me time though like. Give me a month or two, I'll probably know how to do it, like, standing still on command. I know there was a way to do it with L2 that I did before, but now I don't know. It's like I can't get it. But let me show you guys how to do it. The most simple, this is the easiest way to learn how to do a moonwalk. Make sure you have uh, Pro 5 on, like I said earlier. If you didn't listen, go back. Make sure you have Pro 5 on and, uh, for the crossover 18. Because Pro 5 gives you this crossover 18 animation. If y'all need my sigs, like I said, if y'all fast forward need my sigs, make sure I go to my uh, dribble mixtape number one. I put the sigs at the end of that video. But yeah, let me show you guys. The easiest way to do crossover, uh, the easiest way to do moonwalk is I feel like it's out of crossover 18. So what you want to do, you have to speed boost first. Like you have to get the speed boost animation. You don't want this crossover 18 animation. You don't want that one. What you want to get, you want to get the weird crossover 18. You want to speed boost. And you want your like your player to kind of like come from more like you know what I you see what I mean I hope you guys see what I mean like you see how the ball is there and then like it kind of glides you all the way over here you want that animation you want to do the moonwalk out of that glide animation you know what I'm saying so uh yeah like I said if you don't know how, if you knew how to do a moonwalk last year you want to do the same rotation with the stick all right so. Boom. 
All right, so when you get the crossover 18 animation, what you want to do, hold the, you want to do crossover, damn, this shit is hard. All right, y'all, so this is very hard to explain with this moonwalk, so after you get the crossover 18 animation, you, all right, so after you do the crossover 18 animation, to make your player turn around and get, you know, the moonwalk animation, this is for people who don't know how to do it, this is exactly how I do it. I rotate the stick, like, what time is this? It's like 8, 9 o'clock over here. You want to rotate the stick from, like, nine o'clock counterclockwise to like six o'clock so you're gonna want to rotate the stick like I, let me show you guys the movement boom like that that's how i kind of rotate the stick all right so let me show you guys what you want to do like i said momentum get the ugly 18 boom boom well you kind of rotate it from like nine to like five five four y'all see just look at the stick man make sure i look at the stick movement but that's the second part and after that, it's really just free game. You kind of want to, once you get the animation, you kind of want to rotate the stick. I kind of make sure the stick is kind of pointed upwards or something. Let me see. Let me see what I do. 18. Oh, boy. I kind of like finesse the stick. Once you get the behind the back animation, I kind of finesse the stick upwards because it needs to be, it needs to be around here to get the animation. Well, I feel like that's how I feel. It has to be kind of like around there. So you kind of want to keep rotating the stick, but rotate it slow. It's all about movement and timing. So you want to rotate the stick upwards and then just flick the right stick. Well, to be honest, it's free game, bro. Once you get that animation down, you want to just play with the right stick. Now to get the crosshair animation, as you've seen, I kind of hold the right stick upwards like this, like over here. Now to do, do, to do the behind the back, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of weird because it's not just a flick. You have to make sure the left stick is pointing in the, in the right direction. Like I'm literally just getting the crossover. I don't know why. That's like the, that's like the main thing they're giving me. Boom, 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 boom. But the crossover is not bad either. You know, I park, kill somebody with it. But I know, like me, I be doing the, I be doing the behind the back by accident at park. So I don't know why I can't do it in here. It's probably because I'm not. I don't know the stick movement. I'm just not too used to explaining it. But that's the moonwalk. I'm trying to show you guys. That that was the moonwalk. How to do it. And if you want to see uh, me do the behind the back version, y'all can just go to where I did it in this video. I just didn't explain it, but I did it. So you go get the stick movement and how I move the stick. I just want to make sure I give y'all a way to do the behind the back. I mean, a way to do the moonwalk. It's still pretty cheesy. Like, see how I did the how I did the curry slide out of the moonwalk? Like, it looks nice. It's kind of like a 19 move. If you ever played 19, it's kind of like a, the 19 crossover to a what slide back? It was like. Who was it? I forgot. I forgot what dribble move it was, but all my nice dribbles know. But yeah, man, that's it for the dribble tutorial in this video. If y'all new, man, make sure y'all uh, sub up. You know, we got the gameplay and all that coming. We got just tutorials over here. But uh, yeah, y'all, I'm out. And uh, yeah, let me green that for y'all. Ooh, that was green. Don't even question it.